Hello everybody, welcome back to Airport Madness 3D Volume 2. I'm Tenacious Viking, your air traffic controller host. Well, I'm going to take a break from the challenges for a couple of episodes. And I'm going to do my best to... Uh, I, I'm not sure what word to use, I guess, um, to, to replicate what might be going on in, um, in some of the major U.S. airports. Uh, we're at JFK today. New York City is the uh, current epicenter of COVID-19 here in the U.S. Um, Chicago, will they fear, will be next, and we'll do that next time. But I'm just uh, I'm just running traffic rate one because I assume that uh, air traffic has slowed to a crawl uh, in most uh, communities. I assume there are some passenger uh, regular passenger uh, services still still flying. Um, I can think of scenarios where someone would be it would be essential for someone to fly across the country. Um, so I think that's still being offered. There are also freight flights, I'm sure, um, although this game doesn't really reflect those necessarily. Nightmare seven zero seven Roger. Nightmare seven zero seven Roger. Future jet four eight four. We're gonna do our best to bring these planes in in the order in which they arrived in the sky. And, uh, and this guy's kind of in a hurry. Mm, slow him seven, down a little bit. Seven, I don't know what this guy is. Where, where, oh, I don't. I turned the tags off, so I have no idea what. Uh, ah, it's an F-27. That's what I thought. He's <laughs> being really, really slow. Uh, okay. Uh, he should be. This plane should be slowing down enough to not catch up to him. I did two extended. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty. Pretty bad. Okay, yeah, he's going to make it, but barely. I'm going to have to expedite him when he lands um, to get him out of the way in time. Here we go. Yeah, attaboy. Okay, let's get these guys crossed and prepare them for departure. Well, how you doing in these crazy times? Um, if, if you'd like, uh, share your current situation, whether you're uh, quarantining um, by choice or by order. <laughs> um, how everybody in your family or whoever you're quarantining with is doing. Everybody's just a little stir crazy. Um, I think uh, more and more anxious, at least in the States. Um, we, uh, we have more cases of COVID-19 in the United States than any other country in the world. Um, I have heard some hopeful signs today. Um, Johnson & Johnson Company thinks they may have a, a, a good candidate for a vaccine. Um, they are working to expedite that. They are also uh, working hard to manufacture... Um, let's see, I think they do masks, and I know they're doing hand sanitizer. They've, um, I'm not sure exactly what... I know, I know hand sanitizer, I'm not sure of the other one. Uh, but they are 24-7 uh, uh, trying to make needed uh, PPE as fast as they can. So that's a nice thing. With only traffic rate 1, I can intersperse departures with arrivals so I don't take a chance on a crash there. That's the last thing I need. Can you imagine... Um, a plane crash with a number of people on board right now anywhere in the world. Um, medical personnel is stretched so thin. Uh, it just, oh man, um, scares me. It's 
So we're going to do our best to run a, 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 a perfectly safe, perfectly clean airport for 20 minutes uh, so that we don't cause any more trouble for um, the uh, airport or medical personnel. If you haven't checked out my uh, latest sim airport uh, season, season seven, uh, take a look. I started out with a bunch of money, so I'm, I'm building it as fast as I can, as fast as I can figure out what I want to do. Um, and it's it's fun to have the money to do what you want, but it's also kind of puts the pressure on to figure out what to do and how to do it. Uh, I don't pretend to be an expert at building a, a, an airport, but uh, but I'm learning a lot and, and having a lot of fun with Sim Airport. Uh, I'm kind of alternating between Sim Airport and Airport CEO because they're both updating uh, pretty pretty rapidly, and um, you get into the middle of a game and get a big update, and it just kind of boggles your mind as to what what you want to do because now suddenly you want to change things. Um, I discovered what three episodes in where uh, underground roads were, so I could I could do something I'd wanted to do from the beginning with my sim airport, and now I can. So that's evolving. Um, I'm also trying to learn how to how to design an airport to accommodate uh, airlines that want offices and uh, uh, things like that, uh, even stores, their own um, uh, first class lounges and their own crew lounges. Um, still, still figuring out how to accommodate all of that in, in the best way. And I keep learning these new things, and, and uh, yeah, and then suddenly I wished I would have done things differently. So. So let me know in the comments how you're doing. I'm especially um, anxious to hear from from you um, uh, hoping that you are all well but also wondering if uh, if you are uh, how you are coping with the uh, necessity to quarantine Ooh, nice 787 crossing in, uh, to the gate there. I don't remember what airline that is, if there is one. Hmm. Bus, six, six, eight, third for takeoff, runway, two, two, left. You can see the patterns now. There's, there's few enough planes you can finally look at patterns of, of planes moving around. And this is what the developer uh, is working on so hard on in Airport Madness Pro, where you would have the control over which taxiway these planes would take to get to the gate and then to get to the uh, to the uh, to the runway for departure. For example, in this game, I could send planes down this taxiway over to to uh, two two left, or I can send them down here. Or I could even send them down this one to Q. So there's three actually yeah, three actually four options you would have just for that one runway. And that takes a lot of programming and a lot of uh, you know, what if uh, uh logic uh to do that. So that's what I, that's what he's uh, working on the hardest right now is is uh just managing all of that. Uh oops, that's not the it's not what I wanted there let's do that instead okay three one left the politics of all this and the economics of all this will work itself out, but uh, to me the priority is um, health, people's health. Uh, not just saving lives, but, but saving as many people from 
um, the uh, stress and the danger of contracting the disease and it's as as uh, easy it is to get it, um, as contagious as it is, uh, I, I don't know how we're going to do that. I really don't. Um. Five, six, six, eight, we'll land. Runway, three, one, left. All I know is I've used a lot more hand sanitizer in the last uh, couple of weeks than I ever have in my life. Uh, and uh, I have, uh, appear to be um, getting more. I've got, fortunately, I have a stock on hand. I also had plenty of toilet paper on hand. I, I, there was a, a sale, two, uh, two packages for the price of one or something like that, so I bought two. Sometimes, you know, a little luck helps, right? Turn the tags off to make it look as realistic as possible, but you know, you know what? I'm gonna raise the tower a bit because I think I'd like to see things from a higher perspective here. Yeah, see, that's pretty close. I don't like it being that close. <laughs> Oops. Sure, have a lot of planes coming in over here. Don't we? So in Sim Airport now, you can also assign uh, gates to individual airlines, which is interesting. Um, I have no idea how that's going to play out in terms of having, you know, keeping the gates moving, uh, having them clear for a, for an arrival. I, I don't I don't know yet. I'm working through that. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to get enough uh, ticketing desks and security. Security has improved considerably in Sim Airport. Uh, it was initially. It, it seems more logical and more, more organized now. It was pretty chaotic for a while. You, you put in like 20 security desks or, or scanners and it wasn't enough. And you're going, really? Hey, we got two planes coming in at once, but they're on, they're practicing airplane distancing because they're on these two runways that are way far apart, opposite sides of the airport. It's a pretty interesting design uh, for JFK. Kind of forgot to um, have him depart, so I'm going to do it in a hurry. All right, coming in on three one left with a departure. There he goes. Whoa, that was too close. I don't like that at all. Five, two, four, nine. Cleared for takeoff. Runway two, two, left. Five, four, six. Request taxi. Future jet four, eight, four. Will land. Runway three, one. I'm gonna run the world from here and four, six, see how I do. Eight, eight, nine, six. Cross. Runway two, two, right. Steamer flight one, one, two. Three. Trying to follow proper runway separation, but it, you know it doesn't work that well. With the arrivals, can sure do it with the departures, though. Okay, I'm right here now, just turning. This takes a long time. Taxi the length of the airport twice just to get to a gate. Holy cow. Yikes. 
I can do one more departure here as soon as he gets over the... I'm going to ride this all the way up to the gate because this takes a while. More stuff coming in. We're at JFK. Um, very much reduced traffic. Um, to an attempt to simulate probably the current conditions at airports. I don't know for sure. But I know a lot of airlines have canceled a lot of flights. I, I assume they're running some passenger flights. Because you, you, you almost have to, to move some, be able to move some people. Um, I've heard that there were some planes that were virtually empty, which is conducive to social distancing, but is not very conducive to staying financially afloat. That's going to be a concern. Any business that is uh, that was you know running on fumes or, or, or weak um, is probably going to fail, and uh, that's sad. I'm glad that the uh, the stimulus package includes some um, money for small businesses. They need it the most. Corporations they can always borrow. They can they have a lot. The more money you have, the easier it is to to manipulate <laughs> things and and make it turn out all right. Um, the tighter things are, both personally and in business, uh, the, the fewer options you have. That's just a fact of life. So, um, small businesses are, I think, extremely important to any economy. And I'm not sure the powers that be uh, remember that or understand that or respect that enough. Okay, which gate am I going to? Because I just, uh, I think I'm that one, right? Yeah. I'm this plane right here, the green one. <laughs> Which you can't see because it's on a green field. some more planes here. Uh-oh. Well, we're not going to be able to do anything for that. I do have some emergencies on, so that's what that's about. Okay, we are at the gate. Not sure where he crashed even. I get to see. Hmm. Nope, I have no idea. Why are so many planes insisting on coming to the 3 1 left? Slowing down my departures. Now I want to have two planes pop in here trying to get to 3 1 right also. So as he starts to roll, I'm going to line up the next one. There he goes. Thirty-four planes. That's not a lot, but you know there aren't that many to work with. I got I got planes moving all over, so I think think I'm okay. Okay, now we got another one heading into. Uh, I'm gonna speed this one up. One, nine, three, speed up. Get him out of my way. And line up the next one. I got a lot of planes to take off, and I'd like to get it done in this episode. You know how I am about that. Just a tad. OCD. 
All right, we are. Uh, we we are. Uh, we are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We. Yes, we're good. Five, okay. Four, six, for takeoff. Runway two two left. Steamer flight one one two. Line up. Runway two two left. I'm not even going to look at the airport itself. I'm going to look at the radar. Actually, that radar might be late. Steamer flight one, one, two, cleared for takeoff. Runway two, two, left. Steel flight three, five, eight, line up. Runway two, two, left. Uh, let's have him go to 3 1 right. And, uh, pick up the pace on these departures. Steel flight 3 5 8, third for takeoff, runway 2 2 left. Future jet 8 0 8. Oh man, I've got more departures. Okay, I'm going to break the rules and just send them all off. All right, let's ride this guy out, shall we, and close out this episode. Next time we'll do Chicago, same thing, traffic rate one. Just try to kind of simulate what airports are probably like these days, kind of quiet, I'm thinking. Thank you so much for watching. Join me again for Airport Madness 3D Volume 2. Welcome new subscribers. I sure appreciate all of you uh, so very much. And I hope that uh, YouTube is one of the ways that you are using to, uh, to uh, mitigate stress and to fill your time positively in these trying times. So welcome all new subscribers and all current subscribers. Join me again for Airport Madness 3D Volume 2 and remember, be kind.